Anyway. <laughs> this sparked um <laughs> from a an Instagram uh, meme. Yeah, it did. At like three AM as well, actually. I think it was or like two thirty three. Yeah, this is um I've shown this to quite a few people. Well the meme. Yeah. I've I have got it's, it. It resonates. It resonates with me quite deeply. Really? Mate, that one night that we that I saw it, I genuinely like had to sit there and like think about my life. But it's funny because like whenever whenever I like show it to someone, I explain how I found it and the discussion that we had around it, right? Yeah. And they always look at me like, "Fucking hell, mate! What a loser!" Like he's 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 doing this all over a meme, and I'm like, "No, no, no! Just read it. Like it's not a meme. It's kind of just like, fuck off." Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's an. Ideology, it's obviously like it? a provocation. It's, like... it's a provocation. I mean, I don't know what the word means, but I'll agree with it, yeah. It's literally just trying to make you... It's trying to re- get a reaction out of you. Like, it's saying something very, like, nihilistic, isn't it? We yeah, that's what we... It. Yeah, I said, this is, must be that, the nihilistic view which we talked about. Or at least, about. yeah, I saw it nihilistically. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Do yeah, you want to well, show him the I'll, meme? I'll bring up the meme now. This is... This is put it on the screen. You won't be able to see us, but just the meme. Yeah. No, I've got... All right. So, it's... um. Of a cat with full screen. Do you want to read it out, Finn? Do you want to go for it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the clock is ticking. The hours are going by. The past increases. The future recedes. Possibilities decreasing. Regrets mounting. Do you understand? I understand or remain ignorant? Right. <laughs> No, and I, I, I like an issue, and like you <laughs> it can seem so dumb, mate. It seems so dumb, doesn't no, it? No, but it's such like yeah, the meme like itself, yeah. Look, like it's a cat like with a fucking candle, or whatever. But like the actual idea behind it is like pretty deep. It is like a pretty deep sort of. Yeah. I don't think it's dumb. I think it's the only thing that makes it's it dumb. Deceptively... It's the, it's the image. It's the image that makes it dumb. Yeah. If that cat it's... wasn't there. Yeah, I know. It's deceptively like well thought out. Deceptively, you know, quite. Heavy. Yeah, and so from what, <laughs> so obviously we we were in the chat. We had we were it's like two eighty three to eighty. You're like so. I think Joe said, "Oh, I wonder what uh, Spencer's view is on this." Yeah. Uh, and I checked that, it around that, like that lit the flame. Mate. <laughs> that was yeah. I was like, "Oh, I definitely want to see this." I was like, "Oh, I want to. I'll have a go at this." But you loved it. You yeah, loved because. It. I think it was like two thirty. I just checked my phone before I go to bed. I was like, "Oh, this is like interesting." Like, I want to get my brain working a bit and like just get my view. And it's just when I look at this, I was like, "All right, this is instantly a negative view." Like, no, it's trying to provoke a negative view. Okay, yeah. It, it... <laughs> yeah, that's so, how I saw it. No, yeah, it, it's trying to make you think. Like, I mean, uh, this is where we had the argument or like the debate, like. You said it's trying to provoke you looking negatively at it, but I was like, hold on. To me, this is like positive. This is like motivation. Nah. You still don't believe I, it? I, I, no, no, no. I understand that you can make it something motivational. You can make it something positive. But innately, it is not. Um, like, if you read it, it's telling, like, nothing in the, you've got to agree that the content of it is not positive. Yeah, so... That's where this is where the debate came from with mindset, right? And it's like, so obviously, yeah. if you read this, the content, like you said, is pretty negative. It's like basically saying you're wasting your time. Like what you're doing, what you could be doing is decreasing. Your regrets that you've done in the past are just everlasting, like they're still going on. Um, and you're like it says, like you're running out of time. Basically, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, I can see why that's depressing. Like, who wouldn't be depressed that? You're you're dying of it. You're slowly dying, basically. Yeah, so, I think it's just. I it, what I think what it's just doing is literally just highlighting insecurities. It's not... You think? I mean, yeah, I think a lot of people have this sort of suppressed emotion in a within the the larger scale meaning of life. So, because a lot of people, I feel like if someone if, goes around day to day thinking about this constantly or yeah. just they think about it time after time like these kind of deep thoughts that really you know invoke a lot of emotion and a lot of perspective 
on reality and where you stand in reality it could be really draining but if you keep thinking about it um i feel like it's just all it's going to do is make you ask more questions and make you you'll realize there aren't really answers like that's the problem with philosophy like not a problem sorry that's just like a facet right yeah so lots of questions lots of theories no answers because they're ideas it's just yeah, beliefs it's, or like ways yeah. of seeing things but i just feel like a lot of people suppress these sorts of thoughts or emotions day to day but they still have that in the back of their mind and this is just sort of bringing it forwards and making you think about it because i think a lot of people share this common fear that you know they've wasted time because you know oh, it's one yeah like it's the one thing that we that the that humans like we just we pay like anything for right so if you're dying you would do if you're if you're like a billionaire right you're dying you will do anything to extend your time right or yeah, at least yeah, i'd yeah, say the majority of people would yeah. because it's just one thing that we have zero control over like you know you could change all sorts of things in your life like where you live how you live how you talk to people um shit like that but you can't change how long you have to live uh well you can you, okay, you can, you can. Yeah, yeah like you can't you change your death though? date like you, you are you are gonna die that's the inevitable inevitable fact yeah I'm, I'm like ultimately we have we have an expiration date like we yeah. can't if you even if you live you know the safest life you've ever lived you live really healthy you devote your entire life to staying out of danger and being healthy and just doing the best you can to keep yourself safe it doesn't matter because eventually your body will die yeah your body can't survive forever it's just a fact of human life it's a fact of life yep thing you know things just die so so your point is you know when it said at the bottom, do you understand? I understand. Remain ignorant. You think the majority of people just remain ignorant until seeing yeah. this, which makes them think about it. Nah, not necessarily seeing this. It's not like some crazy enlightenment. Like, no, but this would spark it in your head, isn't it? It's like it sparked, sparked it. it for us. Yeah, but it's not like it's not like it's reaching wide audiences, is it? Like it's not this crazy viral thing that's been going around. Like it's just something that we've seen on Instagram. Like just two guys. But I think yeah, the whole point it's making with that whole I understand I don't understand or like stay ignorant thing is literally just the fact that a lot of people stay ignorant but they stay ignorant for this for their own sake like a lot of people can't handle that amount of like that to process that sort of thought do you, do you understand where I'm, where I'm coming from like when you're thinking of something so existential yeah such as such as how long you get to live or the time we have on earth or what you do with your life yeah as soon as it gets existential a lot of people clock out a lot of people can't hack it and it's too much for them to think about they'd rather just focus on day to day because small scale is so much easier to manage than large scale right oh, of course yeah, yeah ultimately large scale doesn't matter until you're sort of sat back and admiring the whole product right yeah so you're not going to consider your life on a large scale until you sat down and like if you wrote down every single thing you've done in your life like every single day yeah you know that's a point where you'd admire the large scale but aside from that you humans day to day don't do that because no, it's yeah. quite uh i think it's quite i reckon that a lot of people or the majority of people would see it as a negative interaction viewing the whole everything as a large scale like stepping back yeah i think okay, if they yeah. i think if everyone analyzed their life on a larger scale i think a lot of people would see it negatively because you can't one of the problems with seeing stuff on a large scale right is the time that you think you've wasted the problem is you, you might not have wasted it, but you can't extract the emotions that you are feeling in any one given moment, right? Mm -hmm. You can't extract it, like, accurately. That's how nostalgia works, right? So nostalgia is kind of just like a trick that your mind plays. You know, you think about, you think about something from your past because you have, like, a specific memory or emotion, feeling, interaction attracted to it, yeah? Like, attached yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but I've had nostalgia for experiences that I've absolutely despised. And I think that's what nostalgia does. It like twists what you th- what you felt in the moment and your emotions that you're feeling within any one given moment or one part of your life are distorted. And then later on, when you look back on it, you can't fully extract what emotions were being felt during that time. Do you get me? 